This construction animation took me minutes to create. This interior redesign, one minute. I'm going to show you five techniques that let you test design ideas in minutes instead of days. I'll show you what works perfectly, what fails completely, and the one technique that's already saved me hours. What's up guys, I'm Nuno Silva, and let's start with construction phasing animations. This is what architects show clients to visualize the building process. Normally, you would need to model every construction stage, animate equipment, add workers, easily hours of work. Look at this. We've got machinery, construction workers, scaffolding going up, the structure taking shape. This looks like something from a high budget presentation. Here's how I made it. I'm using LoveArt because it has multiple AI models in one platform, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I started with my final building render and told Nano Banana, remove building. Then I refined it, remove the wall, make the lot empty with lots of grass and weeds, remove some trees. Now it looks like an actual construction site. Then the magic prompt. Camera slowly zooms in on a time lapse of building construction with machinery, construction workers from start to finish. Two minutes later, this is what you get. Now, is it perfect? No. But for early client presentations or marketing materials, this is a game changer. And here's a pro tip. If you don't like the first result, just regenerate using a different model. Each attempt gives you different variations. Okay, this next one is wild. A friend asked me to turn this cluttered room into a streaming setup. <laughs> Watch this transformation. Same room, completely different vibe. And this took me less than five minutes total. Now, with AI, First, I removed all the clutter, remove all the objects. Then I needed a wider view. Move the camera further back, 30% wider view. Now here's where it gets interesting. I found a reference image of the style we wanted. Turn the room into this style. And boom, fresh coat of paint, LED strips scattered throughout. The AI understood the style I wanted immediately. The monitors have realistic reflections. The lighting creates atmosphere. This is presentation ready. And from here you can upscale for even more detail. This gives clients a crystal clear vision before you commit time and money to the actual project. All right, this third technique, I use this almost every single day now. It saved me hours. Here's the scenario. You have a basic interior concept, but you don't know if specific furniture pieces will work or a specific sofa your client loves. Watch how fast this is now. I've got my basic interior, simple room, nothing special. First, I set up the foundation, change the floor to oak and paint the walls white. Then I add context, add a New York City skyline background maybe some curtains. Now, here's the nice part. I went to IKEA's website, grabbed images of actual furniture pieces, uploaded them all, and told Nano Banana exactly where to place them. And just a few seconds later, every piece is there. The lighting matches, the shadows are correct, and the scale just looks right. And these are real products your client can actually buy. You're not just showing them a chair, you are showing them the chair in their space with their lighting. Actually, this is the technique I recommend you to try first after watching this video, because it has immediately practical value. But wait, what if your client wants to see how it looks at different times of day? Just add one prompt, change lighting to evening. About 30 seconds, that's it. Think about this. You just showed your client the same space in two completely different modes without re-rendering, without adjusting light rigs, without waiting. 
This is especially powerful for restaurants, hotels, residential projects, anywhere the atmosphere matters as much as the design itself. This one surprised me with how well it works. I've got this interior with a basic chair. I found a different chair design I liked from a furniture website, uploaded it and said, switch this chair to this one. <laughs> Look at that. New chair, correct lighting, proper shadows, perfect integration. The AI understood the perspective, the scale, well, everything. But here's where it gets even better. I found a material I liked and asked it to apply that specific material to the chair. It looks really incredible. The texture wraps correctly. The reflections are accurate. It looks like it belongs there. Now, I need to be honest with you. This isn't perfect. I tested a floor plan to 3D conversion and it struggled. Some prompts work beautifully. Others need multiple attempts. But here's the thing. Even when it fails, you found out in 30 seconds, not 30 hours. You can iterate, test, and refine faster than ever before. By the way, you can sign up for LoveHeart using my link in the description. It's the platform I used for this entire video, and it's the first design agent that integrates multiple AI models with professional editing tools. If this video helped you, smash that like button. It tells YouTube to show this to more architects and designers. And subscribe if you want more AI workflows for architecture. And I'll see you in the next one.